I'll never forget what happened on September 11th and uh, watching that unfold in front of my eyes. And the images are just burned into my mind. And the heroism and strength and courage that followed the firefighters and police officers and emergency personnel that ran toward that horror and lost their lives that day. It really impacted me, that, that whole thing. It changed my whole perspective on everything. I just started to turn my life toward serving them. And on my first trip to Iraq, I sat down next to John Vigiano. I'm sitting next to this guy with a cap on, and glasses, a t-shirt. He wasn't a star. I just said, I'm John. He said, I'm Gary. He had a button that he was wearing on his shirt. I said, who's that? Tell me about the button. He, and he said, those are my two sons. They were both killed on September 11th. John Vigiano was a captain in the New York City Fire Department. He lost two children on 9-11. At one time, he said, a lot of good came out of 9-11. And the Gary Sinise Foundation is a perfect example. He made a gigantic, gigantic impression on me. I said, have you ever been to a New York City firehouse? He said, no. I said, how about coming to my son's firehouse? And he did. So I was heavily engaged with the fire department in New York. Gary right away stepped up to help the fire family transport. I remember I did a watch ad in a magazine and for that they said they would donate $30,000. So I took that $30,000 and I put it into the Fire Family Transport Foundation and they bought a van with it and that became the first Lieutenant Dan van. After 9-11, the need became so great. Helping guys, helping families, whatever they need, a ride to the hospital, a ride to the doctor, just taking care of them. And when my foundation was created, I wanted to continue that support by creating our first responder outreach program where we can provide grants, we can provide equipment, we can provide vehicles. Well, I heard about the Garrison East Foundation and I sent in an application and we were approved and now we have these two great rescue boats. We provided equipment to departments all around the country. For an organization to quickly say, we've got you, here's what you need. That was awesome. Some that are devastated by certain events, certain terrible fires. All of a sudden somebody said, hey, there's a phone call from the Gary Sneeze Foundation. They reached out to us. Well, we built homes for police officers. We want to thank you for helping care for this brave American policeman. It's given me quite a bit of freedom I didn't think I'd ever get back. It's important to me to always focus on our defenders. Our defenders of our country, our defenders of our cities, the guys that will respond if something happens in your home or on the street, the emergency workers that show up if there's a car wreck to try to pull you out of that burning car, who will run into your house to try to save you. Look at where the smoke is coming from. Look at where the fire is yeah. coming from. I can't express how much gratitude I have for the Gary Sneese Foundation sponsoring the attendees at this weekend. These people are necessary to our society for our society to function and for us to feel safe and protected. We had been hit by something we never thought would happen to us. You see it on TV, you don't see it in your hometown. And so there are ways that we as citizens, like we do with our military and veterans initiatives, that we can support those defenders of our cities, the people that respond in emergencies. We had a quick realization we didn't have enough rescue tools, so I applied for grants with the Gary Sneeze Foundation and was awarded. Having been personally affected and personally involved with this kind of thing for so long, I felt called to put my hands on these needs and try to do something about it.